like one of my main drivers is I want to bring a family into an amazing life that you know is completely financially stable and supportive, and it means that when I do have children and a wife and kids, I can I can really sort of switch semi off business and really like focus on them. So I mean, business and money in general. I mean, obviously, you know, you've always you've always wanted to to be successful. Uh, you know, you've wanted to find find your way in business. I mean, how how important to you is money? Uh, you know, I mean, what and, and what is your definition of success? Well, I think money is just a metric to measure success. It's not actually the driver. It's a challenge for me. I, I like to. I, I feel how to explain I feel uncomfortable in my comfort zone if I'm not sort of doing something every day that like pushes me out or challenges me or makes me think well that got my heart rate going or that kind of got my adrenaline pumping I feel like I haven't really achieved that day and I think sort of I guess diving headfirst into business and doing it you know something I've never done and you know it was the first step in why I, why I did it because I was like this is scary like and I had so many days where I was just actually resistant to doing anything because I was like, I don't really know what to do, or where to go, or what's like how to start. And then each day, you know, I've now just like how it feels so natural that I'm on this path. And I think that was part of breaking out of that comfort zone each day, each day, till I've now kind of become a comfort zone. So now I'm kind of looking for like how do I, I don't know, take more risks in the business or you know, drive it forward more. I guess do other things like you know even podcasts like this or going onto TV to build the profile, all these sort of things. Yeah. And um, I mean, from a personal challenge perspective, you want to push yourself out of your comfort zone and, and I guess earn more money from that respect. From that perspective, from from your actual current financial circumstances, I mean, have you have you got enough? Have you got enough money? If it wasn't if it wasn't just a challenge of earning more, you know, are you are you, are you happy happy with what you're earning, or is it is it is it as much a, a success metric as it is something you need for yourself? Oh, I th I'm definitely at the stage of still needing it to to at least like you know. But like one of my main drivers is I want to bring a family into an amazing life that you know is completely financially stable and supportive, and it means that when I do have children and a wife and kids, I can I can really sort of switch semi off business and really like focus on them. And I'm definitely not at that stage, <laughs> so I'm still very much in the you know basic founders wage. Still, you know, I've got a few other revenue streams which I use to kind of you know enjoy a, a, a good lifestyle, but um, it's very sort of early early stages of you know what will hopefully be a, a great career on paper there's a bit of money but nothing kind of liquid <laughs> and, what, and what about any any other uh, business or investments that, um, that that you may may have done well i think through prime time we're so, uh, we're kind of uh, vertically integrating so we're trying to get into the hospitality space um we're actually opening a restaurant which we have an interest in oh, you're um, about that. so is, is that a bar and a restaurant or is it two separate things it's a restaurant on the top floor and kind of a speakeasy sort of 1920s prohibition styled cocktail bar uh, on the in the basement floor and yeah just just in Chelsea and that's kind of with our investors in to prime time so it's kind of this joint project um, but we're kind of just it's where our offices are as well so it's which sort of seeing it as building a bit of a prime time HQ where we can come and host people and, and then we've got a bar down in Wandsworth which is a bit more of kind of a fun in the sun cheap and cheerful boozer really uh, how, how did you get your investors for uh, for prime time is that someone you knew anyway or did you have to go out looking for investment there was a connection there kind of through the social scene and my business partner sam used to work with them did a bit of a stint working with them they're in the whiskey trade so they're in the alcohol space um, and then got on very well with the md and the founder and basically pitched them you know put a financial model together uh and they yeah they got on board they loved it <laughs>